and welcome to today's video where we're looking at Lexar Professional USHS2 card which is a 1667 times speed which is based on CD speed but this has a transfer rate of 250 megabytes or 125 megabytes per second Apparently it's good for 4K, which we'll be testing out on a GH5 uh, at a 400 meg megabits per second, or mega something. <laughs> the highest speed anyway, we'll be trying try on that highest speed, which is 400. So this is um, the new type of Lexar card, which is by the new manufacturer. Uh, these are the cards made by the old manufacturer Lexar Micron and um, we should actually see what the quality is like compared to these should ex be expecting the same because they're probably using the same machinery if not <laughs> they're probably the worse cards obviously they're slower speeds but you know the quality should be the same so let's open the packet and find out if the cards are cheap rubbish or not. We'll also be doing the benchmark analysis on the card later and we have the results for this. No uh, SD card holder of these. I've already tried this one on the GH5. Um, I think I was getting about between 85 and 90 megabits per second. This one, the 7 day shop one, I was getting about 50 from this. But these two don't work on the GH5. I find on the GH4, but not GH5 won't even record anything on this one at 400. At 150, you're fine. But as soon as you touch a 400, this card's no good because it's a V30, where this one's a V60. And you can see it has the two sets of pins on the back. And this one's manufactured in Taiwan. And it is long sis, a uh, Chinese company. So these are the new type of Lexar cards which aren't manufactured by Micron anymore. So we'll be testing this one out. So let's put this card in and actually check if it works or not. And we wait. And we shall power it up and test it now. Right, the results are in, and this is the old V30 card, and this is the V60. Right. And the results are, for the my memory, we'll have 170, um, for the my memory, we'll have 79.4 megabytes a second, write speed. For a read, we'll have 85.8 .8 megabytes per second. On the Lexar card, we'll have 34.1 megabytes a second, write speed. And reading speed is 68.9 so the V30 card actually beats the V60 card and that's really disappointing because this is like a rebranded and um, I'm not too sure which one it is maybe Nintendo 
or something like that. And this is actually <laughs> a branded card and it's actually being beaten by a rebranded card. So that's like kind of disappointing. Um, but that's not real world test, that's like um, just a diagnostic on the computer. But we'll actually I have to check if this can actually write at 400 on a GH5 or not. And that's the important point, can it or can it not? And you will find out now. Okay, so we've actually checked and I can actually record for up to six minutes without failing. And it's recording in full HDR 10 bit and at the highest um, bit rate as well 400 um, megabits per second. So that's actually a pretty good card. On all I can think is that the um, USB bus on this camera can't actually match the speeds of the USB cord inside the camera, and I will need to invest in a new USB card reader like this. But obviously, a US was it UHS two card reader. Um, so I can get the full speed reader on SD cards that I'm doing. So if you like that video, please check back for more videos coming soon.